Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for October 24th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on here. I'm concerned about my background. I, can't, I was like, I didn't light any candles around all that stuff, right? I did not. My candles are over here. Safely away from it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Safety first, everybody. You know what it is. It's that light bulb back there because it's meant to look like a flame. <laughs> so like, it keeps throwing me like, oh no. I put a candle back there. All right, let's tune in here. There's a little bit of a scramble of not knowing how to carry forward. Like you're happy that things uh, came together, but it's like, it's almost as if you've gotten addicted to the pain or you've gotten so used to this heavy thing being there in your energy field that now that it's there, it, you might feel a little bit of a void fill it with light if you feel a little bit like something's missing or you're just in the habit of thinking of it, it's, it you might have this weird moment of almost being bored it's like well if I don't have that to worry about what am I supposed to be doing <laughs> right kind of thing so there's that aspect then we have ace of Ariel. so this is lovely it's your lucky day new resources of money time or support support has been a big theme a change in job or a promotion I'm telling you Somebody is, has been hanging out, like watching what you're doing. This could be a boss or somebody who, um, you know, they start to notice that you're doing a lot of creative things. You have a lot of great ideas, a lot of problem solving abilities, and yet you get pushed aside because of politics. Maybe it's your boss's boss and your boss doesn't want you to outshine them. So they kind of keep you tucked away. But this is someone who's in higher power than that okay then your boss and they see your talent and potential and they're gonna perhaps bring you on board i actually heard bring you on board um hmm. i keep feeling this past aspect it doesn't necessarily mean like if you work for an old company that that old company is asking you to come back it could be uh but this might be someone that you knew from that environment who they're off maybe doing something else and they're like hey you want to join us well, you know come on over here like I remember you from the company and I remember you know it could be that sort of thing but this is definitely this feels like earned money <laughs> like uh think pay off from all the work you've already done but you haven't been getting paid properly there could be something coming through and this might even be a fun day to kind of experiment with energy uh just the other day I purchase something and I realized I had overpaid for it and I was like oh you know I should have been smarter about that okay whatever wasn't that much money that's fine so we'll just leave it be it was for somebody who's like an independent person so okay that just gave them more support that's cool uh and then later on I ended up having that come back to me it was so weird it was like as soon as I realized like Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. And it's fine. I'm going to let it go. And I was okay with it. Everything works out. I had this like little surprise gift come my way. And that's just how energy works. So have, be paying attention to that. Have some awareness around that where if you don't, instead of getting angry about something, feel your feels. Okay. Do what you got to do, but what's your bounce back time? All right. Be human, but have a bounce back moment, right? You're coming back. When you realize maybe for you, it was, I don't know, a career came to a screeching halt for whatever reason. Uh, maybe God forbid everything that went on in 2020, maybe, you know, you were scrambling for your job at that point and you've been sitting around worrying, which is understandable. But can you have a bounce back moment where you realize, okay, that happened, but maybe that's not the right thing for me anymore. How about in my energetic field, I open up to potentiality, like the potentials, like what, what could be next? And now you start feeling excited. This, this works. I've done this every time I haven't had a job, especially when I lived in New York City. And if I was, uh, if I had gone away and I'm coming back and I needed uh, to find some work, I would... When I was stressing about it, nothing was happening. Couldn't get callbacks, nothing. But when I started going, I'm excited to see what the possibilities are. I'm excited to see what's out there. Interviews lining up everywhere. And having a job within two days. 
<laughs> right? So it's that kind of thing. So just be paying attention to that. Um, but I, I gave that, was given like a, a minor example about money and, you know, the exchange of money. But if you're worried about money and you're constantly, oh, gosh, how am I going to afford this? If you can, you know, open your consciousness to that and say, I wonder how much money can come in. I wonder, now we got to be careful with money. Money is such a transient energy, right? It comes and goes, comes and goes. When people get too obsessed by that, there's such an energetic drain. It's almost like a hole in their, um, in their field. And it's just all this, this worry of money is getting sucked out. And now your attention wouldn't be on other things. But as far as being cared for and supported and having stability, you know, you can start getting excited about that. I wonder how much money will flow to me today. I wonder, you know, how stable I can be with where I am and the gratitude, you know, that sort of thing and shifting that, just shift that. And now you're clicked into something that is like direct money coming at you. <laughs> so it could be a surprise gift. It could be a surprise opportunity. Um, but mostly it just has this, this feel of come home, come home. Whether that is come home to family they haven't been speaking to or come home to an old company, perhaps for some of you, or come home to this old dream. Okay, you've gone out there, you've explored what it is to not believe in yourself. You've gone out and explored what it is to do X, Y, and Z. Come home. See what that means for you. If you care to share it, put it down in the comments. I'm going to leave it there and I'm sending you all so much love. Take care.